Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 2 to power x plus 4 to power x plus 8 to power x, this is equal to 39. What is the value of x? Now, let's prevent the solution here. We have 2 to power x plus 4 to power x, which you can express as 2 to power 2, raised to power x, then plus 8 to power x, which you can express 8 as 2 to power 3, raised to power x, this is equal to that 9. The next step is that 2 to power 2 raised to power x, this is in the form of 8 to power m raised to power m, and this can be expressed as 8 to power m raised to power n. Let's apply this exponent property so that here we have 2 to power x plus 2 to power 2 raised to power x becomes 2 to power x raised to power 2, then plus 2 to power x raised to power 3. This is equal to 39. The next step from here, we have let 2 to power x be equal to m. So let's, let's substitute where we have 2 to power x with m. So here we have m plus m squared plus m to power 3. This is equal to 39. So that the next step from here, this is the same thing as m to power 3 plus m to power 2 plus m. This is equal to 39. Now, something to note here is that x is a member of real numbers. x is a member of real numbers. Now, the next step from here, we have m to power 3 plus m to power 2 plus m. Let's take 39 on the left hand side. So minus 39, this is equal to 0. So we have m to power 3 plus m to power 2, then plus m, then subtract 39. We can express 39 as 27 plus 9 plus 3. This is equal to 0. So this implies here we have m to power 3 plus m to power 2 plus m, then subtract 27, which is 3 to power 3, then subtract 9, which is 3 to power 2, then subtract 3. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have m to power 3 here and we have 3 to power 3. So let's combine this. We have m to power 3 subtract 3 to power 3 then plus m to power 2 and 3 to power 2 so we have m to power 2 subtract 3 to power 2 then plus we have m minus 3 m minus 3 this is equal to 0 we have here that m to power 3 minus 3 to power 3 this is in the form of a to power 3 minus b to power 3 and we have that m squared minus 3 squared. This is in the form of a squared minus b squared. And lastly, we have this particular part, which is m minus 3. From this part here, a cubed minus b to power 3. This is the sum of two cubes. This is the difference of two cubes, which we can express as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus a b then plus b squared. So this implies that here we have three parts. The first part here is the difference of two cubes expressed as a cubed minus b cubed. We have the second part here, which is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. And then we have this particular part here. Now, we have that a to power 3 minus b to power 3. This can be expressed as a minus b a squared plus a b then plus b squared so this implies that m to power 3 minus 3 to power 3 this can be expressed as m minus 3 here we have m squared plus 3 m then plus 3 squared which is 9 
let's call this equation one then the second part here is a squared minus b squared which is a plus b a minus b so we have that m to power 2 minus 3 to power 2 this can be expressed as m plus 3 then m minus 3 let's call this equation 2 so let's combine equation 1 and 2 so we have m minus 3 then we have m squared plus 3m plus 9 then plus here we have m plus 3 then m minus 3 then plus m minus 3 this is equal to 0 so we have that m minus 3 and m minus 3 is common here so we can factor out m minus 3 and then here we have m squared plus 3m plus 9 then here we have plus 3 plus now since m minus 3 is common here we factor out m minus 3 into the parentheses m squared plus 3m plus 9 here then plus m plus 3 then here we have 1 close the bracket this is equal to 0 now we have two parts here the first part is m minus 3 this is equal to 0 the second part here is m squared plus 3m plus m this is 4m then 9 plus 3 12 plus 1 this is 13 plus 13 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have m is equal to 3 we have m is equal to 3 we have that the second part here this is a quadratic equation of the form am squared plus bm plus c this is equal to 0 so this implies that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 13 so let's assess the nature let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by assessing the discriminant value which is b squared minus 4 times a times c substituting the value of a b and c here we have 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 13 so this is 16 subtract 13 times 4 which is 52 so 16 minus 52 this is equal to minus 36 and this is less than 0 so this implies that there is no real solution here with this quadratic equation this will not give us a real solution there is no real solution in other words we have two complex solutions we'll have two complex solutions from this part from this quadratic equation part so this implies that this part is rejected this part is rejected since x here is a member of real numbers x is a member of real numbers so let's proceed to m we have that m is equal to 3 m is equal to 3 now if we call if you recall we are saying that let 2 to power x be equal to m then saying that let 2 to power x be equal to m so let's substitute the value of m so we have 2 to power x this is equal to 3 to solve for x we introduce rog theme on both sides we have rog 2 to power x this is equal to rog 3 so rog 2 to power x this is in the form of rog a to power n which we can express as n rog a applying this power property of logarithm then we have that here this is x rog 2 this is equal to rog 3 so let's divide both signs by rog 2 here and then here by rog 2 so that now here we have x is equal to rog 3 
divided by rho 2. So we have x is equal to rho 3 over rho 2. Now this is in the form of rho a over rho b, which we can express as rho a to base b. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to rho 3 to base 2. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now if you recall, if you recall, we hint that 2 to power x plus 4 to power x plus 8 to power x, this should give us a value of 39. So let's substitute the value of x. So we have 2 to power rho, 3 to base 2, then plus. Four. We can express 4 as 2 to power 2, then raised to power x, which is rho 3, to base 2, then plus 8 to power x. We can express 8 as 2 to power 3, then raised to power x, which is rho 3 to base 2. Now this should give us a value of 39. Now, we have here 2 to power rho, 3 to base 2, then plus. Now, this is 2 to power 2. We can express this as 2 to power 2 rho, 3 to base 2, then plus here. This is 2 to power 3 rho, 3 to base 2. So, we have 2 to power 3 rho, 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 39. So, we have 2 to power rho, 3 to base 2. This is actually in the form of m to power of a to base m. This should give us a value of a. Applying this logarithm property, applying this logarithm property, then 2 to power of 3 to base 2, this should give us a value of 3. And we have that 2 to power. Now here we have 2 rog. 3 to base 2, which we can express as 2. 2 is a power, so we can express this as rho 3 squared to base 2. And this is equal to 3 squared. This is equal to 3 squared. Now we are seeing that applying this logarithm property here, we have that 2 to power rho 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 3. And we have that 2 to power 2 rho 3 to base 2. This is the same thing as 2 to power rho 3 squared to base 2. Now this should give us a value of 3 squared, which is 9. Now, we have also 2 to power 3 rho 3 to base 2. This can be expressed as 2 to power rho 3 raised to power 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 3 to power 3, which is 27. Substituting these three values here, we have 3 plus 9 plus 27. This should give us a value of 39. So 3 plus 9, this is 12 plus 27. This is equal to 39. And this is equal to 39. So the left hand side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x the value of x satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe country like and subscribe